Uh, I hope this isn't a giant mistake. This lens hood is super hokey, I must say. My shoes are soaked now. I really wanted something a little different. There's a swimming dinosaur coming for me. It's never a mistake. Okay, but Always a learning experience. It's been raining for two hours. Yep. And it's supposed to rain some more. Yep. And we are cameras. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so we don't get much rain in Colorado. And I am renting the Sony 24 to 70 2.8 G Master version two that just came out, like they announced it in April, but now we can get our hot little hands on them. Mm -hmm. And I have rented this one, just like I talk about all the time. Rent the equipment, see what you think. I did not like the version one. <laughs> <laughs> and I've rented version two, mostly for my portrait studio, but I thought it'd be really cool to get some reflections and the flowers all saturated here at this sculpture garden and park. What do you mm -hmm. want to do? I'm just going to take photos. He's just going to wander around, but we're yeah. going to try and I've just got my GoPro up here. So that's the, that's the thing and hope we don't get rained on. Well, not too much anyway. Yeah. Or lightning. No lightning. We don't like that. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. This lens hood is super hokey, I must say. So we're so obsessed with using the big long lenses. I really wanted to see how much I would actually use a 24 to 70 out on these outings for nature and wildlife. And I think it's gonna work really nice for the flowers. There's a bee right here. My hat keeps hitting the GoPro. Oh, cute little bee. All right, so these lilies still have some raindrops on them. And then I saw a bug right inside that one. Hello, small bug. All right, I gotta change the focus area. There we go. I don't want to scare the bug. So this park is really gorgeous and I found some puddles right here, but nothing near something I wanted to reflect. And it is July, uh, so the sun's starting to come back already and getting warmer. Um, one of the things they say about this particular lens is more weatherproof. I don't know <laughs> what they mean by that, but if it rains, we're out here. Um, so I'm on the lookout for something to reflect in some of these puddles still. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, so all these roses have all kinds of little water droplets on them. Let's see if I can show you here. Which again is pretty rare in Colorado. So let's see what we can get. So I have to choose one flower or the other because of depth of field. Uh, let's shoot straight down. Gosh, we have some really pretty light. What's cool is the light is skimming across here and the rest is dark. Ooh. So almost a studio still life look. Ooh, and there goes, there goes the light. Okay, that was it for that batch of light. Moving on. What I noticed is the sun was popping up onto some of these cattails. So with this wider lens, I can get cattails in the foreground and the whole rest of the cattails going out there. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, the light's going away, darn it.
gosh. The light was so much better a second ago. Hmm. Okay, there's a rose bush with some nice light, but still raindrops on the petals. Still haven't found a puddle to reflect in, but the raindrops on the petals are nice. So let's see what we can find before the sun goes behind another cloud. Ah! <laughs> All right, that's pretty. So I don't know if you can see, but these roots are so pretty and the trunk is so wide. I could zoom in, have this camera all the way on the ground, get these roots in the foreground and only have the tree in the background and none of the houses or cars behind. Oh, but there's a few different ones. I took one here, maybe over here too. <laughs> oh yeah. That is so cool. How about over here? <gasps> yes. What if? Ugh. All right. Ooh. There's actually a lot of cool possibilities under here. Look at this bark. All right, I can go on and on under the street. <laughs> it's cool. My shoes are soaked now, but I did find water and flowers. I just don't see where I can make it work. Let's see here. really wanted something a little different. Oh, it's very wet. Okay, very wet, very wet. Maybe like, can you see this? Let's see. Maybe like a petal floating in the water here. The beauty of this lens is that you can get really, really close. I don't remember how close. I, I'll write it on the screen. I want to just move this stick. Ooh, it's moved all those petals. Okay, that's okay. I think I like this. The um, water is definitely seeping into my shoes. <laughs> Holy crap. What the? Hello, where in the world did you come from? <gasps> dude, dude. Do you see this right now? What is happening? There's a crawdad right here. Oh my gosh. Dude, where? Did you come up from the pond? You're a long ways from home. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, there's a crawdad right here. He just totally snuck up on me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I saw you photographing something. I'm like, is there a frog right there? No, I was just photographing the flowers and he snuck up on me. Oh my gosh. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get some video here. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh my gosh, friend. Don't get me, don't get me. <laughs> oh, he wants to hide under my, oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. He was getting real defensive. I thought he wanted something to hide under. Oh, you I know? thought he was coming at you. He's like, I can't hide from you, so I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> I thought he was getting, yeah. He's like, rah, I'm gonna get you. Yeah. Whoa. Now where are you going? That startled me. I was like, there's a swimming dinosaur coming for me. Okay, now he's gonna tiptoe through the tulips. Are you serious right now? He's in the flowers, okay. He, she, I don't know. 
Oh my gosh. My feet are so wet. Hi. Hello. Oh my gosh. So how cool is this? You should be way out in the lake. That is cool. Look at him go. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell these little kids. Okay. Well, I've had a lovely summer evening at the sculpture garden. Yes. As far as this 24 to 70, would I add this to my bag? Oops, I got a hair on it. As, you know, a landscape and nature photographer. Mm, probably not. But that's only because I don't do a lot of landscape. I found walking around here, I wish I had a longer lens for the bugs and far off mm -hmm. flowers. I really like that kind of shot. Uh, but for overall, like this is a fantastic zoom for landscape. I should have had you test it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh. Also, one thing I do did really love, though, is how close I could get to the subject. Uh, we found a crawdad. Mm -hmm. It snuck up on me and tried to attack me. Oh. Yes, while I was trying to oh. photograph a flower in the water. Uh, and this was amazing. I could get really, really close to him. Um, and he's not distorted. So at the widest, at 24, it's not distorted, which I really love, too. I love that it's 2.8. Um, <clears throat> it's a G Master, so it's the highest quality they make. The focusing was perfect. Um, I mean, it's a fine lens. I will. I would use this in my portrait studio. I use it today <laughs> in my portrait studio. But as far as stuff out here, I would say if you're going to a lot of places where you, you can't get very far, um, I'm thinking of places like the Chinese Garden in Portland, places like that where you have such a smaller space to work in, or you have a small area, and maybe you don't have a macro lens. I think this would be great for those kind mm. of photos. Yeah, and I think it would also be really nice for full landscape, but I just didn't take any of those pictures today. I think, though, with my 70 to 200 and the 200 to 600, I don't think I'd add this just for wildlife and nature. If hmm. I was more into landscape, I think I might. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's just my one day kind of tootling around. I rented it, like I always tell you, to try, rent it first, and see if it's really going to work with your gear and what you like to shoot. That's pretty much what I have to say about the uh, brand new 24 to 70 2.8 G Master version 2. I think the pictures are pretty though. We had a fun mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> so that's it. Okay. Yep. We'll show you some pictures and uh, we're going to wander around a little bit more. We didn't get caught in the rain. Not yet. Nope. No. Okay. So. All right. Bye. Okay. Push the like button. Oh yes. Beep. See. Ya. Thumbs up. Okay. All right. Bye. Ah. Oh, bunny. <laughs> you don't have a bunny lens on. Dang it. Nope.